Cheshire. Now I know you should never cry over spilled milk and we should be grateful for the things we do have and not for the things that we don't. But there are some things in the universe that are so amazing that it's hard not to shed a tear over the thought of not having them. And that's why I'm coming to you guys with the top five games that we won't ever get because they're never gonna come out. Five. Number five goes to a game we just need to stop asking for because it'll never happen. Oh, no, no, Bulletstorm oh, 2, no, it, it, it will never be a thing because nobody is asking for it. Now a game people are asking for is Half-Life 3. It's become more of a joke now than a cry out to have the game itself. Plus, it's probably a good thing. Now hear me out on this. We're building so much hype in our own heads and in the gaming community that by the time this game comes out, there's no way it could live up to that hype. We've seen this happen so many times before and not just in the gaming universe. So no more Half-Life 3 confirmed. Valve is an amazing company. They know what they're doing. They just don't know how to count to three. But maybe if we stop asking for it, that's, that's be when the time we get it. Maybe, probably not. Four. Coming at number four is a game Dishonored that- Dishonored 2! No, not Dishonored, Dishonored no! But it is a game that when I think about it, it just hurts my soul. And that'd be the Darth Maul game that was just brought to our attention very recently, a few months ago. Now this game would have been very similar to Force Unleashed, but so much more violent. Lopping off heads came up in conversation, plus body parts splitting in two by a lightsaber. Cause you're playing as the bad guy. There are no restrictions like when you're a Jedi. And to be able to play as the fastest, most agile Sith armed with a double lightsaber? Oh, yes. There was just talk and rumor of it being an origin story for Maul with a battle of Siths. So much potential just gone forever, unless EA wants to revive it, but probably not. Three. Unfortunately, the Avengers never got to Dota assemble. Three. No, Dota no three. not Dota 3. This is an Avenger it's game. Like Dota 2, but it's the third one. No. So THQ's almost had a first person Avenger game. Yeah, right? See, now think Ultimate Alliance, but seen through the eyes of the heroes themselves. Run, jump, and smash as the Hulk, or fly around as Iron Man, blowing up skulls left and right. Personally, I think this game had a ton of potential and would have been a different type of superhero game. Now, I don't know why this game was scrapped, but it really sucks that it was. I like the Ultimate Alliance games, and this would have given the franchise a fun, different spin on things. But who knows, maybe Disney's, they're just waiting to release it around Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. But let's be real, probably not. Two. Now let's jump back to Lightspeed for the next game on our list. Battlefront! No, Battlefront 3. No, Battlefront 3, they're actually making that one. It's going to happen. All right, thank you. Talk about it. Ah, Star Wars 1313 was dumped when LucasArts was closed down forever. Now this hurts me on so many levels. Now first being that the characters we saw first in the previews, now those were just placeholders. Rumor has it that this was supposed to be a Boba Fett game. Now how awesome would it be to play as the deadliest bounty hunter in all of the universe? But more importantly, it would have shown us a different side to the Star Wars universe by not playing as an overpowered Jedi with a lightsaber, but as a human running through the other side of the Coruscant. I think this game would have been very successful. Maybe Disney knows this and we'll actually get to see the darker side of the Star Wars universe, but probably not. One. Finally, at number one, we Steve look- Batman game. No, I, actually, yes. Yeah, Batman, he's now on a roll with all of the Arkham franchise games, but for a moment in time, we almost got a video game version of Gotham by Gaslamp. That's what it's called. Now, DC's one-off story that took place in an alternate timeline that sends us all the way to 1889, and Batman needs to stop Jack the Ripper, who has framed Bruce Wayne. Pretty much just think about Arkham City, but first it starts off in Victorian London, then back to a steampunked out Gotham City. The art direction on this was beautiful and dark, and it would have been just as successful as all the other Arkham games, in my opinion. Now we can sit here hoping and praying that one day we'll, after Arkham Knight, we can get this, but probably not. So go home and read the comic, it's amazing. So there you go, folks, the best games that will never get released. It's a shame 
but what can you do? Hit me up on Twitter at the Joven Shire and let me know which games I missed Bullet here today. Storm. You missed Bullet Storm. Nobody cares about Bulletstorm 2! Gotcha! If you want to hear Joven ranting even more about video games, make sure to check out his top five console launches. Also, watch our honest trailer for Minecraft. It's honest and it's hilarious. <laughs>